Hi everyone, Casey aka Kiki Deets here. In this very YouTube tutorial, I'll show you guys how to recreate this look from start to finish. So enjoy. Okay, so I've been painting on denim jackets, denim jeans, bags, but I haven't been painting on shoes for the longest time. So in this video, I'm not only going to paint on my white shoes, but I'm also going to give you guys an insight to why I decided to call myself Kiki Deeds in the first place. That is why this video means a lot to me, and I hope you guys enjoy watching this just as much as I enjoyed making it. So I'm going to zip it and let you watch this. Alright, so back to the tutorial. So for the paint, I'm going to be using this PBO Set of Color Suede Effect paint. It's really high quality paint. I was supposed to buy the opaque ones, but these ended up being just as good. The difference between the two is that these ones have a shimmery finish and the other ones are matte. Alright, after taking off the shoelaces, you're gonna need a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol to clean your shoes. This will fulfill the purpose of anti-glazing your shoes, which prepares the surface for the paint. Without this very important step, it will create a weak bond between the paint and the surface you're working on. And yes, I am aware that the shoes are not in the best condition ever, but desperate times call for desperate measurements, which means a makeover was needed to say the least. <laughs> As you can see, I had already traced the letters on my shoes before painting. I changed some of the letters by the end, as you can tell, because I figured they'd look better in capital instead. I really wanted to make these shoes look as stunning as possible because I feel like I've been neglecting them for a long, long time. Since this shoe is done, let's move on to the other. Here is the picture that I recreated. If you're not familiar with this anime movie, it is called Kiki's Delivery Service. Now, I remember when I was in elementary school, I was so in love with this movie that it almost became like a religion. <laughs> like I had to watch this movie every day after school. I was that obsessed. Now back to the technical stuff. So. If you are a beginner and you're trying to make this complex painting on your shoe, you have to tape important areas of the shoe that you're painting to avoid spilling on unwanted areas, including the sole, the collar, the upper and the toe box of the shoe. Now I totally avoided that step because I don't have unsteady and shaky hands, but if you are a beginner, please save yourself some slack and put the tape on. Also, a really good advice would be to prepare the paint that you're going to use for different surfaces and different parts of the painting beforehand. Make sure you have a color for the shadows, for the skin tones, for the shadows in the dress, for example, for the light, anything like that, basically. And put them on separate little containers. As you can see here at the top, there are some containers that i have of old acrylics and i put some paint that i had prepared the night before don't do that don't do the same mistake i did don't prepare them the night before prepare them in daylight when you can really see the colors and their values because if you notice in this video i go over the color of the dress many times because i wasn't fully satisfied with the contrast between the colors now I did the background off camera because it was so detailed and precise that it was almost impossible for me to film that process. And I did try to film it at first but the footage showed just my head over the shoe all the damn time, couldn't see my painting for one second. But hey, you can't blame a girl for trying. Now I know some of you would ask, why did you make this painting on the other side of the shoe? And I have already gotten that question. And the answer is, I wanted something different. I wanted it to be a bit more mysterious, if you could even call it that. The person to my right won't be able to see the same view as the person to my left. And I think that's kind of cool. I know it's not much, I know it's nothing crazy, but just the concept of duality is just so intriguing and interesting to me. And it has definitely become a very big part of me as a person and my artistry. And there is a hint of duality even in the name that I have chosen to represent myself with on these platforms. Kiki is a little girl who happens to be a witch and it's a family tradition to move to another city where you can find your true abilities and your true gift. 
And there she was, this little girl in this big city with no plan, but with a very big goal and a lot of ambition. Kiki had a really rough beginning in this new city, where she had no friends, no money, no job, and no shelter to live in. Nonetheless, she never gave up, and in the end, her purpose was fulfilled. Deed is an intentional act, especially a very bad or a good one. That is how I came up with the name Kiki Deeds. It really resonates with me right now. And at a time like this where even tomorrow is not promised, I try to turn to myself and to my art to find that sense of hope that was missing. I really hope that didn't sound cheesy because the last thing I want to be is cheesy on the internet. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> okay, so for the finishing touches, I took this shoelace and I painted more than half of it with red so that I would have this half red, half white shoelace effect. I think it would be a really unique touch to the whole look. Here you can see how it really looks like on the shoe and I think it's so unique. I've never seen this before anywhere. And here is the final product, the official Kiki Deeds shoes. My first painting on shoes after three years, wow. Tell me what you guys think about these shoes and if you want me to custom your shoes, contact me on my Instagram at Kiki Deeds. This goes out to everyone who has supported me up until this point and I want to say thank you to you guys. So it won't be long before I make another video, so... Thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!